Damage fans, we are back, and what an honor it is right now to be next to the legend, J.J. Dillon. J.J., thank you so much for your time. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm yeah. just happy to be here. Definitely. Are you having fun here at the convention? You know, I really am. I, uh, I enjoy it because it gives me an opportunity to see a lot of my peers that uh, I wouldn't see under any other occasion. Just we're all here as part of this event, and it also gives me a chance to interact with the fans because back in the day we were kind of insulated from the fans. Uh, we'd come in the back door of the arena and leave, and... Unless there was a chance meeting at a convenience store or something, we, we had little contact with the fans. So it gives them a chance to come and uh, bring items to be signed or just introduce themselves and share their memories. And also gives me a chance to say thank you for all the support over the years because without the wrestling fans, there would have been no professional wrestling, no Four Horsemen, no J.J. Dillon. Right, now let's go back to day one when it was so hard to break into the business. Um, how did you get started in professional wrestling? Well, I just discovered it, uh, and I'm giving my age away on a black and white TV back uh, in the in the late 50s when it was on live one night a week from Washington. And when a live event came to my hometown, which was Trenton, New Jersey, and all these bigger-than-life characters were there now in living color, I I just said, oh, my God, this is this is what I want to do. And uh, it, it, like you say, it wasn't easy. There were no wrestling schools. There were no shortcuts to get in the business. And... Really, a lot of the old timers saw young guys wanting to get in the business as somebody that threatened maybe taking their position. So they really weren't all that anxious to to want to help you. But I ended up uh, through a quirk of fate being a referee one night and did that on a part time basis for eight years. And then uh, met the Sheik who promoted in Detroit and said, "If you come out and you can bring your tights and we'll see what you can do." And did that on a part time basis and then uh, wrestled around Pittsburgh for a year because I had known Bruno San Martino and he had an interest in the promotion and that gave me a chance to to wrestle regularly for uh, you know three four nights a week for over a year and then that opened the door for me to go to Charlotte and, and became a full-time wrestler in 1971 Charlotte North Carolina my first match was against Gene Anderson and I was months from my 29th birthday so I wasn't a kid I, I just uh, that's how I persevered and chased my dream what was your favorite horseman memory? Oh God, it's so yeah, hard. To, our, yeah, it's so hard to pick yeah, to pick out one. Uh, it it just I mean it started out and was a magical thing that none of us could have imagined how big it would become or how long it could last. And and then when it was all over and looking back, it just kind of was a blur. I mean we were wrestling seven nights a week, twice on Saturdays, doing a TV taping, and twice on Sundays and. Uh, uh, and that was week in, week out. And uh, as I look back, trying to keep up that pace and then partying with the Nature Boy at, at night at the same time, uh, uh, I have some stories, many of which, uh, most of which I probably couldn't share. But at the end of the line, I'm, I'm proud to be a, a member of the WWE Hall of Fame uh, as part of the Four Horsemen. And this year, in 2013, I was inducted into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame in Amsterdam, New York. So. I'm very fortunate to, to be able to wear two Hall of Fame rings that validates uh, a career that lasted uh, close to half a century. Uh, so to a legend, to a kid who's just trying to get up in this business, thank you so much for your time. And uh, any last words for the fans out there? No, other than just to say thank you for the support over the years. Guys, come to the conventions, meet guys like J.J. Dillman, nice overall guy, and stay completely damaged. Back to you guys. Welcome back, Damage fans. I'm with the one and only Stephen Richards. Stephen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, I think you've been around these conventions for a few years. I met you up in Allentown the first yeah, time I remember. Yeah, it's good to see you here. Now, for those who don't know, how did you get started in professional wrestling? Oh, wow. I, I did actually the old-fashioned way and uh, just showed up and tried my best All and paid right, my dues. Gentlemen, uh, so it's pretty amazing. Actually, the first wrestling school I went to uh, rejected me. And guess what wrestling school that was? The Monster Factory, where I'll be Monday night. It comes full circle, you know? Now, the Monster Factory, DDP Yoga, it's, it's changing the lives of everybody. Uh, what are your thoughts on DDP Yoga? And I heard you're certified now. Yeah, I'm the first certified instructor at DDP Yoga. I got certified uh, a little more than a month ago. It was amazing. been doing DDP Yoga full time for about two years, along with other parts of my workout. But as I go along, it becomes my main workout. And then I decide to be an instructor and help other people feel the way I do and be pain free. Um, so then when I went up and got uh, certified, you know, Paige said, go out, try to teach classes, try to expand this, do whatever you can. Make whatever money you want. I don't want anything. I just want you to try to make another career for yourself. And 
I made a lot of calls. I talked to Danny Cage over there at the Monster Factory. He was more than happy to have me come in, and I'm going to do uh, the DDP yoga class and also a wrestling seminar. So it's a nice combination of, of both things, mixing the DDP yoga and the wrestling and teach the young students you know, how to live happy, healthy, and also you know, give them a little bit of psychology on yeah. the, the other part of their career. Definitely. Now, talking about pain, uh, what kind of pain did you have before doing DDP yoga, and it, did it help, basically, I guess? Well, I, you know, I, I wasn't to the point of most wrestlers. I've broken my neck a couple times. Uh, my knee is bone on bone. You know, the normal stuff that you get from 22, 23 years in the professional wrestling business. But I knew a couple of years ago, hey, listen, I, I can't do as much cardio. I can't lift as much weight. You get to that point where your joints start to to really suffer a lot of damage. Not completely damaged, but partially damaged. No part of it. Yeah, exactly. So. I, you know, I tried to be proactive like anything else and say, I'm going to devote myself more to this and see in six months how I'm at. But I'm devoting myself to the DDP yoga to see how it affects my knee, my neck, my back, and the aches and pains we all have. Virtually pain-free after six months. Before six months, as a matter of fact, because I resisted it and kept getting on the bike and the elliptical and stuff like that. But when I totally took impact out of my workout, I, I feel great. Wow, man. Now, what are your thoughts on the business today? Uh, you know what? I mean, there's a lot of young guys out there. It's very physical from what I can see, especially places like Ring of Honor. Uh, and guys like that, I just, just kind of have to give it to them. They, people think what we did in ECW was very physical, which it was. But what I did was I entertained. Me and me, Nova, even though I wrestled a lot more than they did, we still were basically sports entertainment. So I, I saved my body from a lot of major things except for when it counted in certain situations the guys today just work their asses off and like especially in ring of honor and then the guys from ring of honor like daniel bryan and cm punk still continue to work that style and they, i give it to them they're talking about 300 days a year in wwe working a ring of honor style that's pretty intense definitely steve i want to say thank you so much for your time man i really appreciate it and uh, any last words for the fans out there um, well, do it, do it. I can't even say it. Now, you think I cut promos once in a while. Uh, I would tell them to engage DDP Yoga before you become completely damaged. Back to you guys.